Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2019 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mr. Wolford uses a full two liter bottle of liquid soap and he's gonna fill two containers, put these two amounts in there, and he wants to know how many is left. Well, what we need to do is we need to draw first, let's go ahead and draw a strip diagram. Let's see if we can at least understand what we're doing here. So we've got two liters. I'm just gonna put two, then we're going to use capital L. And that's the total. And he's using chunks of it. And so it's not gonna be proportional, but let me just at least draw three chunks here. And I'll show you in a minute why we're doing three. So this first one is 0 0.475. That's 475 thousandths. I'll put like a little capital L right there. Second chunk is 0 0.35. 35 hundredths of a liter. And then what we're looking for is that last chunk, how much is left. So there are two different things that we can do here, and I'll show you how each of them work. First, we can just do subtraction two different times. So let's start with that. We're gonna start with our total, two. And here's the only problem with that is we wanna line up the decimals. We don't know where the decimals go. If you ever see a number with no decimals, you always go to the ones place. So in this case, there's only one digit and it's in the ones place. Right to the left of that, or to the right of that, is going to be your decimal. So you can use that. We're going to put our zero point 475 underneath that. Now obviously if we're going to subtract we need some some digits up there so next to that 2 we can put some zeros. You can always put zeros in empty spots to the right of the decimal point and you're going to be fine. So a lot of regrouping here so that's going to be 1, that's 10, 9, 10, 9, that's 10, so that's 5, 2, Five, one. So 1 1.525, we're not ready yet because that is only this first chunk. Now we need to subtract this second chunk. So we're going to do 0 0.35 or 35 hundredths. Always put a 0 there if we want to just to kind of keep things going. Let's see what we have. That's 5. We need to borrow from this. That's 7. That's 1. So 1.175 looks like that could be C, but here's the other option. I said there's two different ways to do this. Let's verify first. Let's add these two right here. Let's add 475 thousandths and 35 hundredths. So that gets us five, that's 12. That's five, that's eight. Bring that down. So we have 825, which is one of our options, but we don't want this because that's simply adding those two. Now that we have a total of those two, which is 825 thousandths, now what we can do is we can subtract that from our two. So once again, we're gonna have two minus, we need a decimal, so let's put that right there. And let's subtract our 825. Let's see. We need some zeros there to kind of hold the spots. Bring that decimal down. We always line it up and let's do a lot of regrouping. So that's 10. Take one away that's 9. That's 10. Take one away that's 9. Now we've got it. Let's see. 10 minus 5 is going to be 5, 9 minus 2 is going to be 7, 9 minus 8 is going to be 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, so take a look at what I got here. 1 and 175 thousandths. I found that two different ways, which means that is going to be our answer.